Hello there, um, quick tutorial about uh, the modifications from uh, War Selection Map Editor. Um, the following thing, as you hopefully all know, in the Map Editor you have the Modification tab up here on top right. Uh, when you click on it you get this window here, and you have uh, basically two main lists, which is a gameplay and visual. We are mostly interested in gameplay, visual I haven't really looked into too much, but uh, it's mostly for the texture, so you shouldn't edit anything over here too much. Um, mainly over here you uh, add um, a modification and you get those modifications uh, of course you can either type them out which probably no one does or you can get them from the website here if you click in here you get linked to the glyph engine website which is official from the developers as you can see and here you have a list basically of uh, a lot of let's say default mods which uh, the game developers created. There's, yeah, most basics uh, list. Um, in here you have uh, multiple things. You gotta seek them out if you need anything. As, uh, so you should uh, read the description. So we have this one here, which is for creating regularly with a regular interval birds, or you have uh, disabling cultures or stuff like that, or building construction speed ratios and stuff like that. So. If you have something, you're just gonna copy the front part here, which is uh, underlined, and go over to word selection again. And here you uh, click on this button here, and enter it in here, and then you can add it to the list on the left side. So now when you have it here, there's uh, certain uh, mods like kickability, which just should be in here, and they work. And there are other abilities like uh, resource or supply in it which um, need a modification factor. So we'll start with the resources. Um, you So as I already said, you're gonna search them out on the list on the website, put them in here, and then you go down here. You have following uh, three things. You have uh, resource zero, resource two, uh, one, resource two. Uh, resource zero should be food, resource one should be uh, normal resources, aka wood or stone, and resource two should be uh, metal. So, um, Basically, you type out res zero and then equal, and now any amount of here uh, is the starting amount of resources you start the game with. Um, I I think I found out that when you go over a certain amount of uh, resources, I think it's around the five milli mark or something around there. It it's like um, uncertain if you really get that amount of resources so like if you type in five million you might be able to get five million but maybe it's like two million point five or something like that it's not like quite sure but like below below a million it should always work so you can type out here any number it could be 500 500 or uh, a thousand fi fifty thousand or five hundred thousand all works fine uh, you can do that different with each resource so it they don't all need to be the same, and don't forget to separate them with a comma, and then the resource should work. Don't forget to save it over here, so yeah, the modification parameter does work. Then we have the next thing, it's uh, supply init, which is pop cap, so the population uh, limit, uh, the total overall limit. So if you want um, a higher pop cap, you just enter down here, supply equal. And usually it should be 264, which is um, the default amount uh, of population cap of uh, industrial 250. If you want a higher amount, you can just double it. And then we have a double pop cap for uh, 500 in industrial, except of India and China, of course. But that is how you double up the pop cap. If you want more, you can actually increase to, let's say, 2.5 with uh, 640 or you can also probably go into the let's put in an exclamation marks uh, infinite probably like very high number and you'd barely have a problem with popcap don't forget to save over here of course and yeah that's that then we have the last thing that's a uh, defeat condition wonder which is um, the timer which the wonder um, summons with after it gets built so I haven't really uh, figured out what uh, the second part here means, the min-win moment. Uh, I assumed that it was for uh, the time before it's, uh, 
additional time when it gets built before that amount of time, if you get what I mean. That's how I understood it here. But uh, uh, when I tried to um, simulate that, it didn't quite work. So now I'm just explaining you how the first part of the whole command works, which is uh, getting the mod out of here, of course, like always, entering in, in here in this left box, like always, and then just enter time to win equals, and then we have uh, the time in milliseconds. So you need to, um, if you have like, I don't know, 30 minutes, you need to um, calculate them times 60 and uh, add another thousand. So you get the milliseconds. Because if you go any lower, it's um, going to be a very quick wonder. Yeah. So, yeah, that's about it. That's those three mods I've mostly understood. There's actually two more which I think are pretty easy to understand. I might go into more depth, but uh, are they fast build? Construction speed, so you just add speed equals and an amount of time. I don't quite know yet if a higher number is higher speed or lower speed. Same with uh, building work speed, which is the um, production speed of units in buildings. Exactly. Yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, I hope it could have helped, and yeah, see you around soon. Thanks for watching.